Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to Pony4 Tutorials. Today I'm gonna show you how to disassemble our new heavy duty axle. Here you can see our new heavy duty axle, two types of it. One is for the pinion with the freewheel and another one is for the roll-off. I will show you how to take the one for the roll-off. First step how to take off the axle is to take off the wheels. Each wheel is uh, screwed in with one screw. The screw on the left side has left fret, on the right side have right fret. To untighten them, you need help of somebody who is going to block the pedals for you. Now you can proceed without untightening the screws. So. So now, to take off the real wheels, it's good to have something underneath the bike, so it's, the wheels can move freely. The wheels have marking right and left, so you know for what side they are. First, before we do any untightening of the Bearings, we mark the position of the bearing on the leaf spring. We can use some marker to do that. So now we have the axle ready and we can take it apart. First we take off these covers that are preventing corrosion. So now we need to untighten these two screws and two of these are on each bearing. So six screws together. Now, when we take it apart, it's good to mark the position of the bearing itself, where it is on the axle. To change the chain, chain ring, now we need to untighten six of these screws. Now we can replace the chain ring. Now we have the axle take apart of the main components. These two end bolts and this middle assembly please leave to us or your dealer to take apart if needed. 
Now we start putting back the axle together. We can start with the sprocket assembly. It's better to position the axle in vertical position so you can place these parts easier on to match the screws holes. Now we proceed with putting the parts back on the axle. First we put the rubber cover. Now the markings will help us to find the position. It's important to even when we put the safety marks to take some measurements so we have something to compare when we put it back to get together. Now we tighten these two screws on each bearing and this one clamp. Before we put new zip ties on, it's good to put new VD40 inside of these covers to have it as anti-rusting solution. Now we can put on the new zip ties. Now we can start put the axle back on the bike. First we need to put the chain on. Now we can rest it on the leaf spring. We put these white plastic inserts in. And here we put the double washer. Now we put it in the position just to put the screws in. We proceed this process same on the other side. Now we can proceed with putting back the wheels on the bike. Before we do that, it's good to put grease inside of the hubs of the bearings. We use the SKF LGMT2 for, for that. So we put a handful inside of the hub, spread it nice and even, and now we can put it back on the bike. Now we tighten the screws back to secure the wheel. Now you have your bike repaired and ready to hit the road again. Thank you for watching our Pony4 tutorial video. See you on the road.